I think this would be an appropriate time to make a bomb threat. Oh, hi. Um, this is James from the corporate office with Blockbuster. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, it, it looks like we're going to be closing your store today. Okay. So we're going to need you to go ahead and um, just kind of get everyone out of the store and, and lock the doors and everything. Oh, all right. It, are, are there many customers in there right now? Well, there's one, and I'm on the uh, conference call for the store closing procedure. Okay, they're, they're actually, um, they're getting ready. They've got trucks on the way, like wrecking crew, a wrecking crew. And they're coming out, they're on their way right now to, to knock down the store. Like liter- <laughs> literally, literally knock down the store. So, what? And I don't know if they're going to check inside first. We just need to get everyone out. Um, Immediately. What is... Why? If you ask them on the conference call, they'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, Jesus. So there's not going to be liquidation. Is this every store? No, no, it's just at your location. Uh, do you have the what? information for the conference call, like the toll-free number and the code? Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, hang on one second. Okay. Still there? Yeah. And you're not... This is not a prank call. Oh, no, of course it not. Is, it definitely is not funny. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I definitely, no, I wouldn't prank call about something like this. No, I'm calling from the corporate office. Yeah, well. But I could jump on that conference if you have the um, the phone number and the, the code. Yeah, I'm getting it right now for okay. you. Okay, all right. It's, um, what's your name? Uh, my name is David Snoswell. And do you have a, uh, and do you have a dish ID number? Uh, uh-huh. 359 one six seven. Um, uh, hang on one more second. I've got the code for you. Okay. Uh, it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, which toll free number do you use, or do you use a toll free number? Or? It's the one eight. Okay, I'll give that a try then, and see if I can hop on there. So you want me to lock the doors? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you're going to want to get everyone out of there as soon as possible because they might just show up and start, you know. What about all the stuff in the store that's supposed to be? What about all the, well, you know, the product and the. You, you can, um, you know, grab everything you can as as you leave, but I wouldn't spend too much time in there because you just you don't know, you know, when it's when they're gonna just start. So they're just gonna just, they're just gonna destroy everything, basically. Is what you're saying? I, I believe so. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I should probably get on this conference call and warn these other locations because they've got trucks on the way to all these different locations. Yeah. All right then. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thanks for calling. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Snow plow show. <laughs> Snow plow show. Snow plow show. Snow plow show. Okay, bitch. Snow plow show. Roy. W- what? W- Roy. Okay. Fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder. <laughs> okay. Go go go. Shaw go go. Blah 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 blah. Meow. Hello. Goodbye. Doppelina, meow, meow, meow. Hello. Goodbye. Doppelina. <laughs> Hello. How many fingers? Roy, long shits on the toilet. Meow, meow, meow. Hello. This is the grooming manager. How can I help you? Hello. Who, who, who the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. My wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. asshole. Bob Doppelina. <laughs> Bob Dabalina. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Heard Fucked her? in the ass. Hello. Meow. Goodbye. Dabalina. Meow. Meow. Hello. Goodbye. Dabalina. This is Sensei Doug. What? Sensei fucking Doug. Who's a good boy? Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy, Westy? Is it you? Are you the good boy, Westy? Roy, Steve Dave, Rock Bob, Dabalina, go suck a dick. Roy, Steve Dave, Rock Bob, Dabalina, go suck a dick. Listen, Westy, you little shit. <laughs> Turnwinder? Okay. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Cactus, 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 motherfucker. Hi, everybody. This is the Snowplow Show that you're listening to. I'm your host, Brad. And guess what? This is episode 696. That means there's only 304 more videos until I quit the show forever. 
Because look, if I go into the quadruple digits on these file names, it's just going to mess up the whole format of the files and everything. We can't have that, right? I'm just going to have to retire at 999. But it's okay, that's a ways off. Don't worry about that. I'm kidding anyway, I'm just making shit up. This show is made possible by the people on Patreon, like Hoofart, and Shrinkman, and Alex S, and Carl! He has exclamation points on there, so I have to yell his name, just like Christine's. And Theo P. Those are five people at the sponsor level on Patreon, and they've gotten to hear no hobosodes this week. Oops, sorry. I should be making this one a hobosode. But that just means I have to do one tomorrow, right? I'll try and do one tomorrow. Today, we're going to call up some Blockbuster Video customers. Just like the early days of the Snowplow show, I've been kind of missing those calls. So I was thinking we should do some more Blockbuster Video customer calls. Nobody has the movie I want. Hey, if it's on video, Blockbuster probably has it. I mean, we have over 10,000 videos. Wow. I'll watch these fast and have them back tomorrow, I promise. Relax. At Blockbuster, you can keep your videos for three evenings, so take home plenty. And, and use our 24-hour quick drop. Do you have any children's videos? Sure. Blockbuster's America's family video store. You know, we have more kids' videos than any place else. And more movies, more nights, more fun. Blockbuster Video. Wow. What a difference. Hello. Hi. How's Ray there? This is Steve Dave from Blockbuster Video. Uh, just a minute. Okay. Hello. Hi, Ray. Yes. Yeah, hey, it's uh, Steve Dave from Blockbuster Video here in Ocala. Hey, um, we, we just needed to bring back that uh, copy of Jerry Maguire he checked out on Wednesday last week. We, you still haven't brought that you back. You must have the wrong person. I've never been to Blockbusters in my life. Sir, like... You, you've been you've been a customer here for over ten years now. I've never been a customer oh, there. Oh yes, you have. Then how do how do I have your phone number and your name? You you need to bring this video back. I don't have a video. I've never been there. But you you checked out Jerry Maguire on Wednesday no, last week. No, I didn't check out a damn thing. Well, look, you don't want late fees, do you? Just br- just bring it by. Just you don't have to come in. I I know you don't. I wanna, don't have it. I know pro- you probably don't want to come in because of COVID. But just you know, we have the drop off box. I, I've never been there. I've just, never rented a video in my life. Just, just drive up and drop it off in the drop off box. Just screw you. Hey, I don't have it. Why would you say that? You're the one stealing our movies. What an asshole. Hello, Bill. Yes. It's Steve Day from Blockbuster Video here in o- Ocala. Yeah. Hey, uh, you need to bring back that movie you checked out. You checked out Inspector Gadget with Matthew Broderick. Uh, I think you got the wrong Bill White. Oh, no. It's definitely you. Your address and everything. You, you just, just bring that back, please. You checked it out last week. And, uh, you know, other people. Uh, have- I don't belong to. I haven't been to a Blockbuster video in 10 years. Well, don't be an asshole about it. I, we're just... Look, other people are asking for that No, movie. I'm just telling you. You're, looking, you're talking to the wrong guy. I have not gotten a movie from Blockbuster sir, in forever. Sir, it's right here on your account. You checked it out on Tuesday of last week, and we still haven't gotten it back. You're going to start getting late fees. Well, that's fine because you're not collecting anything from me. I oh. haven't been to a Blockbuster video, I'm telling you. Why, why? I don't have a membership. Yes, you do. It's right here I in the computer. I'm looking in the computer. Your membership's right here. Okay, well, your your computer's wrong. Well, I, I think you're wrong. You can wrong, give me all the you want. I, you, you know, it, you, yeah. can, you can just okay, buy well, the movie. You want to just buy the movie from us? No. Well, then why, why don't you just return I it? I haven't been there. I don't just have the movie. Bring it to the drop-off. There's a drop-off box out front. Just drop it off, please. I think this is pretty much how every single call is going to go. They're going to deny they have a membership. I'm going to insist that they do. They're going to hang up on me, with or without cursing at me, I guess. I don't know why I'm doing this. And I tried calling from the last Blockbuster, you know, the one from Netflix, the one in Bend, Oregon. And it works when I call myself from that Blockbuster. It says Blockbuster Video on my caller ID, on my cell phone. I also tried it on my computer. It says Blockbuster. But a couple of the people I talked to, they noticed I was calling from Oregon and not the state that I'm actually calling to right now. So I guess that takes away the realism of it all. I tried some old Blockbuster numbers from the state. I guess I could just say Florida since I'm openly saying Ocala. But they don't show Blockbuster anymore. That's been erased from the system. Hello? Hi, Peter? Yes? 
Hey, it's uh, Steve Day from Blockbuster Video. Yes. You need to bring back Fight Club. You rented that two weeks ago. You still we have rented a re- what? You rented Fight Club on VHS. No, we did not. Oh, yes, you did, and you need to bring that back because why know, don't you forget it? You're supposed because to only keep those for three days. First of all, there's no Blockbuster around anymore. Yes, so there I is. I don't know what type. Type of freaking scam this is. What are you talking about? We're right by the Walmart. We're in the shopping center. What does he mean there's no blockbuster video around? That's actually the first guy to bring that up. Hello? Hi, Dottie. Mm-hmm. It's Steve Dave yeah. from, from the Blockbuster video here in Ocala. Hey, um, we, we just need you to bring those movies back. You checked out a few movies uh, a couple weeks ago and... Still haven't brought those. I haven't been. I didn't even know you were still in business. I haven't been to a blockbuster in a hundred years. What are you talking? A hundred years? We haven't been around for a hundred years, man. We <laughs> started up more in the eighties. Well, I'm exaggerating. I've never been to the store in Ocala. Me, I'm, and I haven't been to any blockbusters in years and years and years. You checked out seven videos on Tuesday of last week. Uh, they're all somebody. Porn- somebody has has. Check them out in my name because I have not been there. Well, how'd they get an account under your name if you never come here? Beats me. Are I have sh- never been in Blockbuster. This sounds very suspicious. I don't even Are know you- where your store is. Oh, we're in the shopping center. Do you know where Hobby Lobby is? Right across from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I know where Hobby Lobby it's up is. the street. It's on College Okay, I, I happen to be 83 years old, and I don't use Blockbuster, and I didn't check anything out. Well, how would you get movies if you don't use Blockbuster? Uh, I use Netflix. Oh, ma'am. Killing us. What the heck? Well, I'm on my daughter's plan, and so she <sighs> provides the Netflix. Oh, so maybe I should be making a little phone call to Netflix and let them know that you're sharing accounts? When, when no, it's, it's legal. She has, she, has, she has five memberships, and we're oh, one of them. Okay, fine. Put poking holes in my plans now yeah i apparently this person that checked out movies didn't pay you anything yeah, well they they paid to rent them but um these are adult titles ma'am these are pornographic movies oh my and, gosh like, are you, you <laughs> i would never watch an adult movie ma'am you don't have to be embarrassed like just, just, i'm not embarrassed just, i just don't like them oh, okay well how do you know we have a big selection here in the back room not likely to get me. I object to the F word on the new movies, and I object to the closed bedroom seats. I'm well, a prude. You could just turn off I'm the... At 83, I'm entitled to be a prude. Turn off the sound and turn off the subtitles. But, yeah, it looks like you, no, you, thank you checked you. out... But you, you checked out uh, it Legally Boned. Uh, you checked out Sex, sex Busters. Oh, you got to be kidding. What's um, the person's name that checked them out? Uh, twin Twin Cheeks. He checked out Twin Cheeks. <laughs> the, the name is Dottie. Well, there are more than one of me around, but... Yeah, but, well, you do... You've got you, this phone number, which I don't understand. Yeah, this phone number is in the computer here on <laughs> Circle. Well, you you got a problem because I don't have any movies. <sighs> Are you? Sh- do you just want to keep them? Is that what this is about? Because you know you can buy them for a pretty cheap price. I do not have any dirty movies. Could you at least bring back the ones that you've already watched? I have not watched any dirty movies. I have not been in Blockbuster. I have no intentions of going to Blockbuster. I don't even have a DVD player. Oh no, these are VHS. Well, I don't have that either. Okay. Well, uh, how if many, I don't stream it, I don't. I don't watch it. How many of the dirty movies that you checked out from us did you not watch? Exactly. I've never checked a dirty movie out from you or anyone else. Are you sure? Because you sound a little guilty and embarrassed. <laughs> okay, I've been on the phone long enough. I think this is a scam by now. How would it be a? How would it, whatever. I just posted on Twitter asking which movies I should say is overdue, and it looks like I have replies. We've got Mall Rats from Kyle. F in Reality suggested a bunch of stuff, like Field of Dreams 3, The Revenge of Lou Gehrig's Disease. What? I've never seen those movies, but I think he may have made that one up.
American Pie 8, the Ocho. These don't sound real. Hello? Hey, uh, is Ron there? Who's this? Uh, this is Steve Dave over at the Blockbuster. Who? Uh, this is Steve Dave from Blockbuster Video over here by Hobby Lobby. Blockbuster? What? In Ocala, the, the video store, the video rental store. Can can I just can I just ask you something? Do you know if Ron? Blockbuster video. Blockbuster video. Who is this? Uh, this is Steve Day from Blockbuster Video. Why are you both yelling at me? I'm just telling you who I am. Because I have no idea. I didn't even know there was Blockbuster videos around here. Well, it's nothing to get upset about and scream at me. For listen, we have. You know what, bud? Hey, you, you've got the hey, wrong number. Take a hike, okay? Hey, no, it's Ron. It's your account. Hang up. It's your account, Ron. They got so angry just because it doesn't exist. Hello. Hi, Paige. Yes. Hey there. It's uh, Steve Dave from the Blockbuster Video here in Ocala. Uh huh. Hey, um, do you know anything about David coming in here? And we we've got him on the security cameras. He keeps taking the the movie cover, the movie cases. You know, not not the actual movies, just the the cases for him. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, he he keeps. Uh, I guess maybe he's uh, duplicating some of the VHS movies onto his own VHS tapes. And then he's coming uh, in. Not and he, my head. Oh no, it's definitely him. Uh, we've got your, your phone number and everything here on 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 the computer. But well, that's great. Maybe I, we should call the cops. Well, no, it's not a cop matter. I, I just we we're hoping he could bring those back because, you know, we we just we need those to be able to rent the movies. Maybe he's just uh, wanting to. You know, just have the cover because he copied the movie. So he wants to put the cover on top of his copy. I, I can understand that, but c couldn't he just, you know, make his own from images? Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I used to do that back in the 80s, or I guess maybe the early 90s. I would go into a video store and I would shoplift the cover of the movie so that my copy on VHS that I probably got off of television, off of cable TV or whatever, could have the case for it. I remember getting Thelma and Louise that way. And everyone's favorite John Hughes movie, Career Opportunities. I remember I had that case for my TV recorded Career Opportunities copy. I mean, I got to show off that I have that movie, right? But I guess that doesn't really apply to Blockbuster because they never put the real case out there, did they? Or did they? I don't think they did. They just had their weird generic cases. Hello. Hi, Loretta. Yeah? It's Steve Dave from the Blockbuster video. Over here, oh, yeah? here in Ocala. Hey, uh, Victor came in and he rented uh, Office Space on DVD. But then uh, when he returned it today, he returned the VHS copy of that movie. Wait a minute. Um, we haven't, like, just a minute. Let me have him talk to Okay, this, well, look, we don't even do VHS here anymore. Just one minute. Okay. Hello. Hey, Victor. Yeah. It, it's Steve Dave from the Blockbuster Video over here by the Hobby Lobby. Blockbuster Video? Yeah. You returned uh, that copy of Office Space that you rented from us, but when we opened up the DVD case, there was a VHS tape in there. You gave us. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm, I'm having a lousy connection there. I'm using my wife's phone. Ah. What is this thing? How do you get this module up on this? Get her to fix that. No, we have never met, rented anything from Blockbuster. Oh, yes, he did. He he rented uh, Office Space, the movie Office Space. Uh, last, no. Yeah, just a few days ago. Last, but but when he returned it, he returned a VHS instead of the DVD. He has not rented anything like, from Blockbuster. I, I opened up the video. DVD case and there was a VHS in there. So I don't, I don't, I, I don't understand what you're talking about listen, because that is not Victor. Look, I know maybe he's just trying to upgrade his collection by. He has no collection. His, we don't even watch any DVDs. We haven't watched DVDs since we haven't had a player for it. It's years. Well, then why would you rent Office Space on DVD if you don't even have a DVD player? Because he didn't rent it. 
Are you sure you have the right to dare Yeah, him? I know exactly who Victor is. He's the one that always comes in and gives me snake eyes. He gives you snake eyes? Yeah, all the time. He always comes in and he just, like, gives me, he glares at me. He just looks at me. No, you have the wrong party. I don't know who you're talking to. Uh, you, I don't understand. Maybe, maybe he just you didn't. Know. Maybe he just didn't tell you. But you know, he needs to bring that back. No, bring- it is not that he didn't tell me. He is not going to talk. We're together all the time. Well, it, and we go everywhere together all the time. But he was in so here. But- he wouldn't be renting anything without me knowing it or seeing it, especially if it's a video. Well, have you seen? So there's another. In the in the Pine Run, that maybe uh, oh, no, the, you're talking because we have your phone number here. It's in the computer and in, in your address on eighty. 80- what phone number do you have? Oh, uh, the one that I called the nine seven four eight number. That's not his phone number. Um, well, this is the eight four eight nine. We have both of them in here. No, you don't have his phone number. I do. T- I called you on nine seven four eight. That's not his phone. Well, it's your phone. Right. See, now you're just covering for him. I think you guys do have that Office Space DVD. Can, can you please bring it back, please? I bet all these people, after they hang up, they're just discussing, like, what could the scam have possibly been? I just don't get it. Hello. Hi. Uh, th- this is Steve Dave over at the Blockbuster Videos. This is Pam. Yes. Hey, uh, Jim rented a movie from us. Uh, just on Tuesday. No. Yes, he did. And uh, he returned it today, but um, he returned the VHS version of it instead of the DVD. Excuse me. What? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm at the Blockbuster over by Hobby Lobby here in o- Ocala. We can... He's, he's had a stroke. He's got dementia. I can't believe he would have... <laughs> he would have rented anything. We don't even go into Blockbuster. Are you sure? Because, I mean... Yes, like, I'm sure. He can't hardly talk, oh. let alone understand. Hmm. So I don't know who's doing that, but we haven't even been in Blockbuster. Okay, all right. You can... Are you in Ocala? Yeah, yeah, we're right by the Hobby Lobby. No, we haven't even been over there, and I can't even tell you when. So he didn't rent all these VeggieTale movies. These what kind of movies? Uh, Veggie Tales. Oh, heavens, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Christian kids movies things? Yeah, they, no. They teach you lessons. Well, I'm sure they're good. I don't doubt that at all. But no, he wouldn't have done that. He couldn't even do that. <sighs> all right. Well, you've convinced me. Uh, I, you, you are, I hereby deem you not guilty and you are free to hang up the phone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Good you. luck with that. I, I don't understand who would have put it on his name. Well, maybe, maybe it's just uh, just some bizarre, just crazy mistake. You know, it's a coincidence. It's one of those coincidences. I guess. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm sorry. All right. Well, um, <laughs> thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. I love you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Goodbye. Okay. Apparently, Jim is not renting VeggieTales because of personal reasons. Hello. Hi, Betty. Who, Betty? No, she's not here. May I take a message? Well, Roy and Betty were in our video store the other day. This is Steve Dave from Blockbuster Video. Yeah. And, uh, look, there's a little bit of a problem. Yeah? Roy kept opening up the breaker box at the back of the store, and he's flicking the lights off and on. And there were customers in here. (laughs) Could you ask him not to do that anymore? who who was doing that? Uh Roy was. Now, what day was that? That was on Tuesday. And he had Betty come up here and distract me and he went up back to the okay. circuit breaker listen, box and he's listen, like tee hee tee hee. Listen. What? Listen. What? That wasn't Betty and Roy because they aren't in this state and they haven't been in this state for two two weeks. Well, they use their account to check out movies. Betty was up here checking out uh let's see i look in the computer she was checking out uh popeye the movie and cannibal the musical 
Um, highly unlikely. So you've got a problem with somebody. I'll leave, I'll tell them about this, okay. but you've got a problem with somebody else using their ID. I don't know because Roy and Betty have been coming in here for a long time, and I know Roy pretty well. And, okay. But I don't know why he's okay. flicking well, the lights. Tell, hey, 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 tell, describe Roy and Betty to me. Uh, they're troublemakers. No, but what do they look like? How old are they? You know, they? we had kids in the store, and he was turning off the lights, and it was, you know, it was getting dark out. So, it was, you know, it's like that could scare the kids. One, one of the okay. kids was like, Mommy, all right, what's... I'm hanging I'm, I'm hanging up now. <laughs> Just ask, You've got your... ask Roy not okay. to do that. Cut it out. I wonder who she was. Was that a daughter, or did they leave the maid in their house while they're gone? Yeah. Hey, okay. Lee? What? Don't talk to me like that. This is Steve Day from Blockbuster Video. I don't care who you are. Listen here, Lee. You need to quit adjusting the thermostat when you come in here. Get lost, man. We, we have that set to 74 for a reason. Is 74 a reasonable temperature in a Blockbuster? It'd probably be lower than that, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. Hey, Bill. Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Blockbuster Video over here by the Hobby Lobby. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, when you were in here last time, or I mean the last few times you've been in here, you keep adjusting the thermostat. And, you know, we're supposed uh, to keep I'm, that right on 70. I'm, I'm afraid to get the wrong person. I have not been there. Oh, and no. I know nothing about your thermostat. Oh, no, we know it's you. You were in here uh, last Tuesday, and... And you adjusted the thermostat again. Every time you come in here, right after you leave, I look at the thermostat, and you're always turning it up. So where are you? Uh, we're where over by located? the Hobby Lobby, you know, in the shopping center. The Blockbuster. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. The, yeah, the Blockbuster video across the street. No, it's yeah. not me. <laughs> I have never been in there. What? Well, you have an account here. We, we have an account for you. you. You rented a video on Tuesday. I did not. Here, let me look. Yeah, you rented Mall Rats, and you rented Faces of Death Three. That's wrong. No, it's not. I, it's right here in the computer. I just looked. You can you can talk all you want. I'm telling you, my friend. I have never been in that place. Yeah. I know nothing about it. And I suppose you're not adjusting the thermostat either. I'm not. Look, air, air, I, I can't. I can't from my home. Air conditioning isn't free, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, so someone's got to pay for this, no, and no, wait, you're, you're not paying for it, so you just leave that thermostat alone. Wait a minute. What? You are talking to the wrong person, and I'm hanging up. Oh, I know you it's you. You better find out who you... you no, know, you don't. Next time you come in, I'm going to point at you, and I'm going to be like, you leave that thermostat alone. I like, will never be in there. I'm, I never have been in there. I'm going to embarrass you in front of all the customers. I'm going to yell at you to leave Go the right thermostat ahead. alone. You better be careful. I will not be in there, so it won't be a problem to me. Well, you know what? Maybe it, we don't want it, you coming in here anymore. If you're just going to mess with our thermostat, that that won't be a problem. I will not. Well, Goodbye. Why, why are you doing this and then just denying it? You know, he can at least own up to it, right? It's not like he ever has to face me again, since he says he's not going to come in anymore. Hello. Hi, Diane. Speaking. This is uh, Steve Dave from the Blockbuster Video here in Ocala. Yeah. Hey, uh, whenever you and Gene come in here, you guys are always sneaking into the back room. I know it's not that no, big of a deal, just, but... You've got the wrong name. Oh, you've no. got the wrong people. Oh, no, we know it's you. Like, can you please just stop going back there? That's employees only. What are you talking about? Whenever you come into Blockbuster to rent videos... We don't go into Blockbuster. Yes, I've you... never been in to Blockbuster. Neither has my husband. You were just you in here on were... Tuesday. You're, you're renting... You're kidding. You are kidding. D drop dead. What? Why? Hey. Drop dead. Wow. That seemed like an overreaction. Hello? Hey, Mary? Yes? It's uh, Steve Dave from Blockbuster Video here in Ocala. Why are you calling me? Uh, well, I was just calling to find out why whenever you and Ed come into Blockbuster Video, you're always sneaking into that back room. Is that just a weird little thrill thing for you? 
Um, no, that's employees. Goodbye. That's I a, don't know who you are or why you're calling me, but do not call me I again. I told you who you're I am disgusting. and why I'm calling. You need to stop going in our back room. I'm blocked. Hello? Hi, Pat. Yeah. Hey, it's Steve Day from the Blockbuster Video. Pat? Dave from the Blockbuster Video. Yeah, over over, uh, over by the, the Hobby Lobby here in Ocala. I think you're at the wrong person. Oh, no, I don't. You're you're in our computer. Uh, you were in here on, on Tuesday renting a movie. No. And uh, look, can, when you come in here, can you please stop trying to recommend movies to all the customers like that? Oh, uh, you're talking to the wrong person because I've never been in there. Oh no, I know it's you. It's it's your account right here. And but you always go around and you try and talk people into different movies, and you always try to steer them toward religious movies. It's weird. No, like, I'm done. I don't even know who you're talking about. I'm talking about you. Hi. You, you keep doing that to the customers. Can you please stop that? Oh. Hey, hey James. H- Hello. Oh, hi. This isn't James. This is Steve Dave from Blockbuster Video. Is James there? Yes. I'm sorry. Is James there? No. And and what are you calling about? Well, James came in here the other day to rent a movie, and he stole our pin. He's. My husband has never been into a store like that. How would you know? He was just in here renting a movie. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but you can shove it up your ass. What do you t- like? I just want my pen back. He kept the pen out when he signed his receipt. You you send me a copy of the receipt. No, the the pen's not on the receipt. He rented a movie. He rented a Break Into Electric Boogaloo. He never r- rented a movie. Yes, he did, and he kept the pen. He signed the receipt, and then he kept the pen. And I want the pen back. You know what you can do with a pin? Because he's never been there. You know, he's 82 years old. I don't know who you think you're talking to. Just because he's 82 doesn't give him the right to steal our pin. Who? I mean, where are you? Oh, uh, we're over by the Hobby Lobby. We're here in Ocala. Wait, he has never been to a Blockbuster store in his life. Bullshit, he hasn't. You tell him to you bring... You know, you got a filthy mouth on you. I'm going to report you. Oh, well, you're the one telling me to stick my pin places. So, her thoughts are filthy, right? Hello. Hi, Bill. Yeah. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Blockbuster Video here Uh, in Ocala. I don't know nothing. Listen, Bill, whenever you're in here, you're you're always trying to convince customers that you're Bill Murray. No. Yes, you You are. The wrong guy. Look, your your name's Bill McMurray. I've never been in a Blockbuster. I've never been in one. Don't you, even have a blockbusters here. You come in here all the time. You try to convince customers that you're Bill Murray. You're like, you ever seen Ghostbusters? Well, guess what? Oh, he's gone. His name is Bill McMurray. Let me try him right back. Hello, Pat. It, it's Steve Dave from Blockbuster Video. Who is it? It's Steve Dave from Blockbuster Video here in Ocala, over by the Hobby Lobby. C- can you please just talk to Bill? And, and tell him not to try and convince our customers that he's Bill Murray. Oh, you're being funny. No, I'm not. He keeps, every time he comes in here to rent movies, he, he's like, hey, you seen Ghostbusters? Guess what? I'm Bill Murray. And he tries to show him his driver's license. Tries to show off his driver's license and hide the fact that he's Bill McMurray. Can you tell him to stop doing okay. that? That's, it's, honestly, it's a little weird. It's not even that funny. Okay. It, it was yeah, a, it was I'm going gonna, to have to spank him. Okay, yeah. Can you roll up a newspaper and like hit him on the nose with it? And just be, be like, no. Hello? Hi, Rose. Yes? Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Blockbuster Video here in Ocala. From Block Video in Ocala? Yeah, the, the video yep. rental place, Blockbuster Video. No, I don't. Well, no, I didn't say anything. I, I was just wanting to know if could you ask Donnie? Like, whenever he comes in here, he's always he's always flicking the light switches and like blinking our lights. Can you tell him to stop doing that? Okay. Like for real? Like he he comes in here and he just flicks the lights on and off. I don't know why he thinks that's so funny. 
My Johnny does that? Yeah, whenever he comes in here to rent movies, he's always flicking the lights on and off. And they're like way... He don't come in... No, I don't know who you're talking about. Eat my husband. We don't even come in there and rent no movies by. Oh, yes, you do. And th- those are like in the back room. Boy, I'm a- Hello? Rose? Well, this sucks. She's really complaining about me. I can hear it in the background, but the the quality is... Oh, hey, hey, Rose. Rose. Oh, come on. So the entire time I've been doing these prank calls, I have also been watching Nick Caesar, the unofficial PLA artist, do a stream on his Twitch channel. He gets on there every Sunday at the same time and just draws stuff and he just drew me a picture of a guy sneaking in the back at blockbuster video and flipping the switches just like that so hopefully i'll have some actual show art for this episode thank you for doing that nick caesar i don't know if we'll get it in time though because i'm about to quit and maybe start editing this and try and get this posted today but i want to try at least just i don't know a couple more calls here before i give up next week i should do radio shack calls but no that's dumb not everybody went to radio shack But everyone went to Blockbuster. These people are trying to lie and tell me they didn't go to Blockbuster. They've never been to Blockbuster in their life. Yeah, right. Hello. Hi, Don. Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave from the Blockbuster video over here by the Hobby Lobby. It's who? Uh, Steve Dave from Blockbuster video, the the video rental store. Uh, yeah. Um, my manager wanted me to call you up. And just ask if you could please stop flicking the lights on and off whenever you come in here. I know the light switch is right wait by a minute. right by the door, but you don't wait, need, wait. you don't need to be flicking that. Wait a minute, hold uh, hold on just hold on just a minute. Okay, I think you have the wrong person. Well, I you, haven't been in Hobby Lobby flipping the switches. Oh no, you and no, I don't. Hobby Lobby's across the street from us. I'm I'm a Blockbuster Video. You, you always come in here to rent videos from us. No, I do not. No, I do not. You what? have a wrong person. What? No, I've got your account in the computer. It's got this phone number on it. You, you were in here uh, renting Moonstruck 2. No, I have not been. And no, t- I have not been, sir. You didn't rent Titanic? No, I have not been to Blockbuster Video. You didn't rent Titanic 2? No, I did not. I haven't rented a... I, I don't even know where Blockbuster Video is. Well, we're right by the Hobby Lobby. But you, you uh, Well, that may be true, sir, but you're calling the wrong person and accusing me of something. Yeah, but you keep coming in here and just flicking the lights. No, I do not keep coming in. How many times have I got to tell you, hardhead? There's cust- I don't come in now. There's customers in here, and you're flicking the lights, and they're just trying to read the movie titles and descriptions on the boxes, and there he goes. Wow, he got really upset at that accusation. I really wish I had a callback number, because I bet I would have gotten some good callbacks today. Hello? Oh, hey there. I was calling for William. This is Steve Dave from the Blockbuster Video. Yeah, hold on, please. Hello? Hey, hey there. Is this, is this William? Yeah. It's Steve Dave from the Blockbuster Video. Okay. Hey, uh, whenever you come in here, you keep flicking our lights on and off. Like, like, just as your weird little calling card thing. Can you please stop doing that? What are you talking about? Uh, whenever you come into Blockbuster Video to rent movies, you always... Flip- I don't come into Blockbuster Video for any reason. Yes, you do. Uh, you always come in here to rent movies, but, like, you're always... Flipping- I don't come in there to rent movies. You, you need to stop... Keep your hands off that light switch, William. I, hey, 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 pal. Hey, what? You there? Well, yeah, I'm here. I- I'm crippled. I don't go into your place. Nothing. Well, no how. your finger still works because you're always flicking that light switch. Sure. You're full of shit. You need to cut that out. You're nuts. You, you need to grow up. The lady was in the background telling him to hang up. And I just realized, you know, like I said at the beginning of the show that I used a Blockbuster video phone number from Oregon, the very last Blockbuster, and I thought I switched it over to uh, just an an old Blockbuster number from that area because I wanted people to believe me. But then people kept bringing it up. They're like, hey, you're calling from Oregon. You can't be my local Blockbuster because that's the part that doesn't make sense. But no, I actually was calling from Oregon the entire time. I probably broke some rules by doing that. And nobody else brought that up for the past two hours that I've been making calls. I noticed that that guy said Blockbuster before I said Blockbuster, so he knew 
I was calling from Blockbuster, and then I looked at what number I'm calling from. So what I'm getting at is I need to actually call Blockbuster because they may have been getting calls back from these people. So let's see if they even pick up their phone. According to Google, they are still open. Blockbuster. Oh, hey, uh, this, this is Howard. Um, I'm one of your customers. You just called me and said I was flicking your light switch? Hello? What? Hello? Is this a legitimate call? Yeah, of course. Why would you ask that? We get a lot of prank calls here. Oh, no, no, I'm not trying to prank you. I, I just, I thought you guys were pranking me or something, because uh, some, some guy there called me. He said his name was Steve Dave. No. And, and he said I keep flicking the light switch whenever I come in. No. Okay. Well, you don't have to be weird about it. I just, I didn't know what was going on. I'm sorry to bother you. No, you're, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. Uh, have a good day. Okay. I'm, I'm taking though. Like, quit complimenting me. So I guess the last blockbuster gets a lot of prank calls, so nothing new to them. And maybe they haven't... Well, she probably just didn't believe any of the callbacks. She's like, oh, this is just a bunch of prank calls. These weird old people calling in with wacky things. Why are the prank callers so old all of a sudden? But that makes it even better, because all of these people, they have Blockbuster on their caller IDs. It actually says Blockbuster. So when they try to tell the rest of their family that they got these wacky calls from Blockbuster, they can actually show them. See, I'm not senile. Blockbuster really did call me the other day. Oh, anyway, I think I got interrupted by somebody picking up when I was talking about Nick a while ago. Uh, I mentioned that he had a YouTube channel recently, uh, a few months ago, and he decided, fuck YouTube, I'm going to go over to Twitch. So everyone needs to add Nick Caesar on Twitch. He's at twitch.tv slash nickcaesar13, N-I-K-C-A-E-S-A-R. Here, let me do that phonetically. No, I'm not going to do that. And then number 13. I'll have a link to that in the show notes if you want to go watch some of his stuff. He puts some pretty interesting stuff out there. And it's fun to watch him draw stuff live. He does requests and everything. So thank you, Nick Caesar, for the show art, you know, for the past seven or eight years or whatever it's been now. Hey, Brad, I'm uh, Rich calling from an undisclosed location. I was just thinking about... Hey. You might be the most experienced uh, prank caller of all time in terms of uh, total calls and, you know, uh, total minutes pranked. And I was wondering if there was any way... Maybe we could get you into the Guinness Book of World Records. Um, okay. I anyway, just a thought that crossed my mind. Keep up the good work, Fred. Take it easy. How would you prove that, though? Because I've known lots of people that make more prank calls than me. Remember Daisy? When Daisy used to do shows all the time, she did a show every single day of the week. I didn't do that many calls. I think Daisy's got me beat. And also, is the Guinness Book of World Records, is that still relevant today? Is that a thing? It seems like that'd be really boring to read these days, since we all have the internet. But I don't know if someone knows how to do that. Do that then. Make me a world record holder. Hey, hey. It's Gigi from Fiji. Hey. It's like, wake up in the morning, put a coffee on, eat a cross on, you put on a snowplow show and shit. You know it's gonna be a good day. Aw, thanks, Gigi from Fiji. Is that what you said? I think that's what you said. Hey there, Brad. This is a uh, special agent from the uh, Federal Bureau of In uh, Information about dandelions. Yeah. Just gonna let you know. Currently, there's no warrants out for your arrest. Also, did you know that dandelions contain latex? In the, in the Soviet Union, they were actually used as a source of natural rubber. You don't so, say. Uh, just gonna be calling you every hour to let you know about dandelions. And that there's no warrants out for your arrest. So, uh, that's okay, great. Thanks. Bye. Is there nothing dandelions can do? I've ever called your voicemail in all these years. It's Katie Cat. Holy shit. I miss hearing jokes on the voicemail, so I thought I would call it and give you one. Are you ready? All right. What is a cat's favorite color? I don't know. What is a cat's favorite color? Hey. It's purple. I'm supposed Get to say it? that. Pur yeah, purple. Yeah. Purple. Purple. That was a good one. Okay, bye. Love you, Brad. Bye. Thanks, Katie Cat. That was a great joke. Hey, love. This is MC. I wanted to say, you know how people ask you for apartment numbers? I think it ruins a lot of the calls. You probably are cutting a lot of them out because people say it doesn't exist. Yeah, you sometimes. know about something that is diagnosable called dyscalculia? I'm not making it up. It's it's real. Just tell me about dyscalculia. And if they keep pressing, say you're dyslexic. And if they keep pressing, like, go look at the number, say that you're blind. And then you can't see the number. 
something like that. That's pretty funny. I think uh, okay. you might be able to keep even more calls that way then they'll, and uh, kind of throw them off. They'll be like, there's no blind people here. We wouldn't let blind people live in our trailer park. That's not allowed. That's against the rules. Hey, Brad Carter. This is uh, Caleb from Ohio calling in. I hey. just wanted to let you know that that 420 special a couple months ago, I believe it was. A couple months ago. Funniest fucking thing I've ever heard in my whole goddamn a life. Couple months. I would not mind if you did a couple more I lost my weed pipe calls or any other marijuana-related calls. Those were the fucking shit. Thanks. Probably because I love Caleb. watching your fucking show while I'm absolutely blazed out of my mind off the of sweet fucking Mary Jane. Probably. But anyway, I mean... That might have something to do with it. How are you, Brad? Nobody seems to ask how you are. I mean, I honestly, how the fuck are you? Anyway, mean. have a fantastic day, I'm, Brad. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Practice. Also, hopefully I get... God, play stop up. talking. Give me a chance to answer. I'm one of the fucking shows that, you know, I actually get to watch because I don't pay fucking for Patreon. I don't have a fucking dollar a month. Sure. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm a goddamn hobo. Okay, more 420 calls. Hey, Roy. It's Freddy from California. Hey, Freddy. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Just wanted to say that I love you. Say it back or it's weird. No. no. Cactus, cactus. You're making it weird. Cut it out. Ash Walker, Louisville, Kentucky. I am the Snowplow Show, bro. You need to call me and get permission for that shit. Okay. I'm going to call this guy in Kentucky and get his permission. Whatever the fuck that means. Hey, Brad, it's uh, 11.39 a.m. on April 9th. No, it's not. I was just listening to an old, old show where a viewer called into the voicemail. He was like, hey, uh, you didn't post the Ding Timber number in the show notes. We couldn't find it anywhere. So uh, I did you a favor. I made a Ding Timber website, and uh, the number's all over there. So That's it makes it easier great for idea. us uh, prankers to find it. Thank and, uh, you. I don't think you got enough shame for that. It's nice so. of you. Just want to let you know. Appreciate that was, it. That was really, really dumb. Yeah, that was dumb. And I think I do that like every year of Ding Timber. I accidentally let it on to Google somehow. I just completely forget and post it out there, and then everybody Googles it and finds it and knows it's a prank. It's such a dummy. Hey, Steve, Dave. This is uh, Corvo Gablogian and my good friend Luke. We like to listen to your show while we play video games on Discord and whatnot. And uh, just want to let you know if I ever see you in person, dude, I'm a fucking karate chop you in the neck, make your heart explode. Whoa. Have a good night. All right. I didn't hear no Luke there. Are you sure you're not just making up that you have friends? Why didn't he say anything? Hey, Brad, it's definitely reality. Yeah. Uh, dude, you got me in tears over here what? with this shit. Omar, you stay out of that crawl space, and don't you dare go on that roof. Omar! Omar, right. I don't want it! Uh, anyway. Good time. Love you. Say it back or it's weird. No, Please, I love you. not doing it. <sighs> not going to start that. I don't love any of you. Hi, Pat. This is Anthony from um, Manchester, Liverpool. Hey. Um, I'm just confused by this get rid of um, the uh, uh, um, I thought I was going to say. Anyway, I don't mind supporting the Snowplow show, but cancelling um, one thing. <laughs> Where, I can't who? understand you. I'm sorry. Well, here, let me finish who do this. Who give the money to? Give it, give it to Patreon. Is that what you're asking? Where to support the show? Patreon.com slash phone losers. I know I was confusing about that a few shows ago. I just rambled on and on and just confused everybody. I got all these emails. Sorry, everybody. Hey, Brad. This is Richard Tree from Seattle. And What's I with everyone's quality? to the newest episode and went straight to the voicemail to see if my voicemail was played. And it was... It probably I sounded like this, so I didn't play it. Appreciate that. Um, and I do appreciate you telling me not to dox myself. However, Richard Tree is a fake name. Okay. So, yeah. how, how the fuck would I know that? I don't know what your real name is. Hey, Brad Cactus, or uh, what's it? Call me Cactus calling in. That's what I'm calling myself. Hey. Um, so I was calling in for a different reason, but I forgot because I'm driving right now and I had my Siri call you because I have you saved in my contacts. So I said, hey, Siri, call You need to tell that Richard Tree guy, like, whatever system you use for calling while you're in the car, because his is awful. No plow show. It's terrible. And I have my Australia, or I have my Siri set to be Australian. So when she, she goes, calling snow plow show. So Australian Siri actually does pronounce it snow plow show. That's crazy. Glad to know. I bet you the UK does, too. All right, one last voicemail, and it's a really long one, so I probably don't have to play the whole thing. Yay. Hey, Brad. Uh, this is Clambutus from Iceland. Uh, hey. One of the things I wanted to tell you is uh, your Adobe, you know, audition crack, you know, is it, uh, I mean, which version is it? Because I know a, 
like I know a forum that a lot of crack groups hang out on, and、um, I mean, I use、yeah. the crack for Photoshop, and it works just fine. I, I wonder what crack you're using. Also, I. I It's been working for a while now. It hasn't turned off. I don't remember when the last time I fixed it was, but it looks like this one is CC 2017, and I've also used 2018 and 2019. Maybe those were the ones I was having a problem with, and 2017 works just fine. I got an email with the submission recently, and、um, I forgot to tell you in the submission about this Google keyword that is really useful for finding numbers. It, it's basically like. You put the area code of the、uh, yeah. you know U.S. area code,、yeah. and uh, then uh, you put、uh, you, you put one hundred and then minus or hyphen or the minus sign. You know, basically you put one hundred and minus nine nine nine, and then you put one thousand and minus nine 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 nine. What the fuck are you talking about? And you search、about? for that, and that'll basically allow you to search for numbers that are you know area code one hundred. To one thousand or one thousand or nine thousand nine or nine nine, and what、All、you、right. can do, you can also put like file type dot or file type.、Uh, I don't understand、uh, a thing you're dot, saying.、Uh, X X L S for Excel sheets and、yeah. uh, or put name and address. It's、uh, really useful. I'll I'll maybe email you about it. Like、uh, I forgot last time, but、uh, okay. I, See ya, Captain Sam. All right, okay. I can't wait for this email. But thanks for the suggestions. I think I'm okay with audio editing now. I'm recording everything still into Mixcraft, and it's working really well. I'm even recording the voicemails into Mixcraft now. I'm getting more used to that, and I'm editing in Adobe Audition still. But I want to start using that other one. I've used it a couple times. The one that Joe Devita told me about, Osen, is that what it was called? And it works pretty good. I'm just not used to it, so I'm slower at it. I gotta practice on it a little bit more because I don't know all the shortcuts yet. But I think I'm doing okay with audio. Right now, much better than I was like a month ago when I was complaining a bunch. I was just really pissed that I lost a really good prank call that day since Adobe Audition crashed. Thanks for the calls, everybody. I'm gonna stop playing voicemails there and end the show. Hope you enjoyed this nice little throwback to Blockbuster video. I kind of thought that calling Blockbuster customers like the good old days was just gonna be something we could never do again, but it turns out I was wrong. You can just do it anyway, and the results are still kind of funny. Because they're so confused that Blockbuster's calling them in 2021, and that reminds me, there's this old Blockbuster show. It's a snowplow show that you should all be listening to. It happened a really long time ago. I'm trying to find it right now in my directory, in my show directory. Oh, there it is. It's episode 32 of the Snowplow Show. Back when we were in the double digits. It's from November 8th, 2013. That's when all of the Blockbusters were finally closing down for good. Back then, pretty much every town had a blockbuster. Still, we still had one here in Albany, but nobody was ever in there. I don't think. I mean, I guess how would I know? I never went there. But on some of the last days that they were in operation, I forget exactly how this all went. I did a live show. We got some stores shut down. I think we told some that we were coming over with wrecking balls to start demolitioning the stores. And there was a corporate conference call that we ended up on because one of the employees told me about this corporate conference call that was about to happen. And hopefully this is all actually in this episode that I'm mentioning, because maybe there was another one. I just picked the one that had Blockbuster in the title of it. There might be others, but I think it's this one: Snowplow Show episode 32. We ended up on this conference call where corporate was telling managers how to deal with closing down their stores, and I think we were able to say some curse words or something in the middle of their conference, and she had to silence us all. I need to re-listen to that one. I need to put that one out again. That's what I need to do. Thanks to the sponsors of today's show: Who Fart, Shrink Man, Alex S, Carl, and Theo P. They support the show on Patreon at Patreon.com/PhoneLosers. Hopefully, you're doing that too. I sure appreciate it when you all do that. Also, don't forget to check out Nick Caesar on Twitch and YouTube and everywhere else. I will put links in the show notes to that. And I don't know if he puts up his archives from Twitch, but if he did, then you can actually see him draw today's show art. On a live stream. I mean, if he sends me the show art, we'll see. I don't think I told him it was for today's show. I'm ending the show with a song by Micro Corgi. This is something that I got from him in an email, and I'm gonna make you listen to it. Thanks for this, Micro Corgi.
mind For plane crash my head For stop press your job Okay, let's try and call this conference line. Welcome to the Blockbuster Conference Center. Please enter your passcode followed by the pound or hash key, and I'll connect you. It's okay because they're demolition bombs. Please hold while I confirm your passcode. Thank you. Your passcode is confirmed. All guests have been muted. You can unmute your line by pressing star six. When you hear the tone, you will be the 100. 80 third person to join the meeting this meeting is now being recorded said um, I think I can get that out there let's just listen for a minute okay um, review it this weekend and we will um, review again any questions that you may have on Monday we are going to have a call on everything that's today I think I said this already um, will be on you are no longer muted located in a field calm today Craigslist one of the things that we want to do, and I think Mindy spoke to this earlier, is that Craigslist is huge for us when we're going into liquidation. We provide directions on it, and it's really about getting people to know there's other avenues of advertising your sale. So um, definitely want to get a Craigslist posting. Let it, you can send a teaser out and say, hey, we're, we're, doing a, we're going to be opening up for liquidation on Thursday. So please stay tuned and come back and check us out. Put your store address and store phone number on there so people know they will be there. You will be open at 10 a.m. on Thursday. Uh, asset tags and all these um, pricing items are actually in the closing masters folder that has um, flyers and um, other tools and resources for you guys. So please make sure you go back and look at that. We want to make sure every asset is out on the sales floor. When we, this is the time, Monday and Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Definitely plan out your week and how you want to go through it. We want to make sure that you have every asset out and that you can actually, uh, you have everything priced. And there is an asset log and it gives you how you should price everything. So you can actually write down the part number behind the asset tag. That will make it quicker when they come up. But there are, you're going to have to have invoices filled out, those type of things. So again, review the asset binder uh, guide when I get that out there later today. Dish kiosk. Um, this is one of those great things that we can sell um, it, right now, and it could change, so just know that. But uh, right now we will be selling that kiosk with the TV and the PlayStation 3. Um, and that we sell for $650. That's our starting price. And there is negotiation done in this, but uh, I'll tell you, you can get $650 for that, for that kiosk with the TV. So just uh, good stuff to know. But the asset board is just pictures, basically, and the pictures are already out there in, um, in the master's folder. And um, it has pictures of your printer and your fridge and cabinets and A-frames and wood fixtures. And you're going to want to cut those out. You want to put them on a board. You can go pick those boards up. Cut them uh, out and shove them up say your like, ass. Excuse me. Um, if, if you're online, please mute, star six. So you can um, go ahead and just put him. You are no longer muted. Board like at Office Max or. Listen, on that kiosk, I'm just gonna give it to my brother because he needs a television with a DVD player. So I'm just gonna give it to my brother, okay? I'm giving it to my brother, the kiosk. It's all his. Okay, continue. Sorry. Just go ahead, ma'am. All guests have been muted. You can unmute your line by pressing star six. Yeah, all lines have been muted. Sorry, guys. Uh, someone was talking in the background, so we want to make sure that uh, we could mute everyone. All right. Um, asset board. So you want to definitely get your asset board up. That's something you'll be preparing for. Um, you can do it this weekend, um, Monday, Tuesday. Definitely want to get that up. All right. Counters, awnings, blockbuster oh, fuck tickets. Yeah, you got to get it up. Um, and channel letters will not be sold. We should have um, sold porn. That was the only way to say blockbuster. Who's talking? All guests have been muted. You can unmute your line by pressing star six. 
All right, guys, I think we may have resolved that. Sorry about that. Tabachi said it's been switched to listen-only mode, so I think maybe we can't get back in now, but we'll see. Make sure that we are selling everything at its, at its price that we list on the asset log. So we'll get into more details with that on Monday, but definitely want to do that. And then the other piece is um, you will get requests for stores to, um, as we get closer to... Closure, this is boring, but I, I feel like I shouldn't hang up. This is kind of historical. It's the end of Blockbuster, and we get to hear the inside info. guarantee. So as you get inquiries, we have a email address and a phone number. I would ask that they use the email address first, which is press at blockbuster.com, and there's also a phone number listed on the agenda. So please... Uh, utilize that, and if you're running to any, you know, inquiries or you're having a hard, hard time with any of your questions regarding that, please work with your RSM on, on that. Next step, we'll send a communication now. We're going to have other conference calls, so we'll probably have some updates to that um, later today, so be, be ready for that. We will send updates based off of how things are changing. I'm very fluid right now. Um, so that you can be ready for either calls on Monday and other times next week. So just so that will be coming. All right. I'm done with that.